Uh, oh, phone's going. Who's that? Suzanne. All right. Yeah, coming home. All right then. See you in a bit. She'll go. I'll. Uh, I I'll put the kettle on, or at least fill it, ready, because mm. she normally calls again. And, what do you mean? Uh, she calls again. What? She calls again when she's out the tube. Let's do it. Let's hear it. What's going on? All right. You out the tube? Yeah. Do you want a cup of tea? Yeah. All right. See you in a minute. Uh, flick the kettle on. Get the tea bags out. Make a cup of tea. <laughs> milk. Bit of milk. Um, you, sometimes I'll say I'll get us a little treat when you come out the tube. Yeah. Um, so she'll get me, you know, a bounty or something to go with a cup of tea. Nice. Right. She'll come it's before in. Before your tea, though, isn't it? Yeah, but it's going to be another forty odd minutes. So you have a bounty before you have a meal? Not every day, just sometimes. If I fancy, if I need, if I've got a sugar low, I've yeah. got a touch of diabetes. No, you haven't. I have. I feel like a bit shaky. Sometimes. Oh, so you just made that up? So yeah. you did? You have got no evidence whether you got diabetes? Well, I haven't got or not. evidence of it, but I think no, I have. So there's no evidence, but let's believe in it anyway. Right, well, I have a bounty that normally sorts it out. To me, that's a sign of diabetes. <laughs> Otherwise, what's wrong with me? <laughs> so um, you're just a greedy fucker. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, I sometimes need it. I get a proper urge from Mars bar. I go, I've, I've got to have what one. What's your bounty for then? No, just to mix it up because I get sick of Mars bars. Do you? Yeah. Well, when you have a, when you or, when you say get me a bounty. Have you got an urge for a bounty then, or a Mars bar? Um, well, it's just that they're both quite equal in sugar content. Yeah. Bounties, there's a lot of that Do coconut. you specify, though, when you say get me a treat, she says, well, well what? Sometimes you have a Mars bar, mm, sometimes you have a bounty. No, that's, that's enough for me. I'll go, I'll, when, when she comes in, it's a talking topic, isn't it? What have you got me? Topic? <laughs> they, she, she sometimes gets you a topic. You know, it's, it's, it's something to chat about, isn't it? Right, okay. Something bounty. to chat about. So, uh, has there ever been a time... Sorry, i just got to get this straight, Steve. Sorry, Rick, I just wanted to say, could, could you, imagine you and I having a conversation about what chocolate bar you have brought me. <laughs> what did you get me, Rick? I've uh, got your bounty, is that all Thanks, right? Thanks, mate. That's as long as that conversation can possibly yeah, go. You're talking it. about it, it's a talking point. Yeah, so what happens? So what, what's the last time there was a discussion about what she bought you? Did she ever bring you a bounty and you go, oh, I was really hoping for a Mars bar? Um, I think the last time she got a bounty, I sort of said, oh, they do a three-pack now. Do you know how they just have two bars? They do a three one. Right, what did she say? She said, did he? Did <laughs> she he said, I want out of this relationship. <laughs> no, but that's how a chat starts. And I'll go, yeah, that's why there's fatter people now. Everything's in bigger amounts, isn't it? It used to just be one, like a Milky Way. Now you can get a three pack. And then they're saying, oh, there's fat people. Because that's the thing. She's she's sort of been talking to people all day. I've been tiling, listening to the radio, hearing reports of obesity. So this is a chance for me to tell her what I've learned, in a way. Right. So I'll empty what i bet I've she loves coming through that door. Well, she comes through, took a coat off, I'll go, oh. She'll go, what, are we having scampi still, or have you gone off the idea? And then I'll go, oh, you know, we should get them tablets my mum's been talking about. She goes, what tablets? I go, the food. So see how it's all coming together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's like that, and that's... that's what does she you. say to the idea of now living on tablets instead of um, <laughs> having some scampi and chips when she comes home after a hard day's work? What does she, she say to that? She just sort of goes, all oh, right. Mm. She says, oh, right. Yeah. So, so, this important information which you're imparting that you've got her during the day, her response to that is, oh, right. Yeah. So, and then I'll just, I'll get her attention at some point. I'll say there's worms with teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get her attention at some point. I'll say, I'm going to bring out the good, big guns now. I imagine. Right, right, she's ignoring me. Okay, wait for this. Wait, wait. Suzanne, I see you, you're ignoring me. Yeah. Worms with teeth. <laughs> oh, God. Amazing. Oh, God. So what does she say to worms have teeth? Uh, I can't remember. She just she sort of said, oh, have you got the facts right? I said, yeah. <laughs> that's that's kind of it. And she'll either go, all right, or she'll... Uh... I mean, it's pretty rare that it's anything more than that. <laughs> So it's not a conversation, really. It's, no, because the response twice now has been, "Oh, right, right." So, <laughs> so, so she's she's looking forward to some scampi and chips. She hands over your bounty. You go, "Oh, they do three, yeah, whatever." Right? What happens next? Take us through. I'll sort of say you got anything to report, anything gone on today, mm -hmm. and she knows it's it's a sort of phase off again. It's like a phone call. She'll go, "Oh, so and so's." leaving or whatever and I don't know these people mm. and I'm not that interested mm. and she senses that yeah yep um, so she'll go oh, have you paid the insurance I go no I forgot she goes, <laughs> I've told you to do that I said yeah but I've been doing the tiling she's going yeah but you didn't, weren't meant to do the tiling I should sort the insurance out on the washer because the washer keeps breaking um, 
and she won't let me fix it, even though I know what it was. It was a heating element. I said, I know, I know how to fix that. But she was going, no, I don't want you messing with it, because if you flood the kitchen out, it's you know makes a mess. So anyway, so I've got to sort that out. I still haven't done it. I should have done that today. Uh, then have a game of crib. <laughs> oh, God! Oh, God! It's like being in an old people's home. I know. But I'll tell you what, put the telly on, because there's some flump on there that might <laughs> might give you an insight. No. No? No, not until... Uh, in, like I've said to you before, unless she knows what she's putting it on for, mm. it doesn't go on. Right. None of this flicking So it when on. she says, let's put the telly on, you go, okay, Suzanne, what are we going to watch? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, what... And, what? She, and she goes... And she goes, well, I don't know, should we have a look what's on? I say, look what's on first. But have you got a Radio Times or a TV? Yeah, I've got, a, like, a magazine that comes with a paper at the weekend. Okay. Look through that. If there's anything on your fancy, we'll look at it. If not, we don't need it on. Put the radio on. Right. And then she has a look and she'll go, the apprentice is on. I'll go, okay. And you can have it on. Right. Uh, if she goes, oh, there's... I can't remember a time when I've said, no, you're not having that on. Um, you're quite patriarchal, aren't you, wouldn't you say? What do you mean? Well, well, the man of the house rules the roost. Yeah, you pretty not much really. lay the rules down, don't you? They, no, because she still does what she wants. Even though I'm saying you're clumping about again, making a racket, she does it more. But it works, doesn't it? Yeah, sounds like it. And um, so you've, you've had a lovely game of crib with Suzanne, because, you know, the magic's still there. And uh, what time do you hit the sack? Don't know, about 11. Do you go to bed at the same time? Yeah. So that's it, yeah, that's so, the day, really. Well, hang on, we haven't finished yet. So any conversation before bed? Uh, depends if the radio is on. I might say, look, here's that story about the worm. Yeah, mm. and then she'll go. Yeah, but look, it hasn't got teeth. It said this, that, and the other. And I'll go. Oh, yeah, yeah, forgot. Good night. That's the end of that. Really. Another day closer to death. Well, that was a a free podcast. Um, I suppose we'd call that a day in the life of Carl Pilkington. That's a little thank you to all the fans who bought the audio books. <laughs> it's not much of a gift, is it? Wow, it's something, isn't it? I mean, I know Carl did it begrudgingly, but thank you for downloading the audiobooks all these years. Carl's very grateful, really. It means he can go and buy as much grout in as he'll ever need. Um, and thank you to people who've uh, bought the book, An Idiot Abroad, and uh, watched the programme. If you, you still can't get enough, Carl, the DVD An Idiot Abroad is out. That's a lovely Christmas gift for all the family. Order that now at Amazon. Co.uk or Calm or yeah, HMB or Yeah, or your retailer of choice. Your retailer, yeah, retailer of choice. Or go out, or go out and buy it. Go yeah, out get off your arse and buy it. Go out for a walk and buy An Idiot Abroad on DVD and the book. And what a lovely Christmas gift the Ricky Gervais show would make as well on DVD. Animated ramblings from the round-headed moron. Some people don't even realise that The Idiot Abroad is Carl Pilkington from the Ricky Gervais show. If you're on Twitter and Facebook and my space and or if you've got just friends you actually talk to via the mouth <laughs> then tell them if they enjoyed an idiot abroad to get the ricky gervais show on audiobook or dvd and while you're at it buy my new stand-up on dvd science no, i don't know i don't know rick that mm. seems a shameless plug yeah. well what was all what was all the other shit then yeah that was just talking to the fans whereas... that's because you get a third of all the other stuff all right let's not talk let's not reduce it to money hmm. carl's on it on what on the uh, science DVD, I've done a special program where I interview him for science, which is amazing. Um, but my favourite bit is probably when uh, he meets Warwick Davis. His little, I stitched him right up. He thought he was going to have a talk about science. We hid Warwick, right? Well, it was not that hard, is it? <laughs> <laughs> we had to keep him in a different room, and then Carl sat down, just thought he was talking about science, and I went, got a little fella, and Warwick walks out, and your little face, and Warwick confronted him over some of the. Uh, words he's used midget yes i remember the famous uh, midget mm. hippotam hippopotamus story yeah i'm sure you used the word midget there far too many times yeah so there's a few things to buy at christmas go out and buy one of our dvds or books this was free now pay for something <laughs>